Hi, I'm Lillian Gray, South African fine artist and owner of the Lillian Gray Fine Art School. Welcome to my drawing course. This lesson is going to be all about basic skills you need before we start delving in all the difficult things of drawing. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at your various pencils, which ones are dark, which one are light, what's best for shadows, and understanding what's in your pencil box. We're also going to be doing about how do you hold your pencil, how do you practice stability of hand, and how do you practice gradients, shading from dark to light and light to dark. It's important to understand the difference in all your pencils. I'd like you to make tiny squares, mark your relevant pencil above, and do a cross hatch in each block using the pencil that you've named. And I would like to see if you guys can notice the difference in the pencil. As you can see, my H is the lightest, my HB, and then it goes darker as I go 2B, 4B, 6B, 8B. What you will also notice is that your 8B will smudge much more than your H. How to hold your pencil. If you hold your pencil right at the front, you've got more control and less wobbliness. If you move your hand to the back, there's much more of a wobble and much more freedom. So it's important to know what you're busy with. Are you just finding your shapes or starting to plot out your drawing? Be at the back of your pencil. If you're moving into textures or fine details, move to the front of your pencil. You have a natural curve in your hand. What I mean by that is, you have a perfect, beautiful curve. It is not great working against the natural shapes in your body. Drawing a curve like this, you feel a little bit spastic and it's not as easy. So if you're drawing a curve this way and you now have to do a curve in the opposite way, turn your page. Never work against your natural curve. your stability of your hand. We often waste time on phone calls, listening to da -da 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 -da. Use that time to practice your hand. And what I mean by that is draw a little bar and try and get your lines as parallel as you possibly can. I'm using an HB and all I'm practicing is to try and get my lines as far the same width from each other all the way through. What I'd also like you to practice is your gradients. First up, get a 4B pencil, start really, really dark, and progress to light. Make a bar and take your 4B pencil and work from dark to light. This looks a lot easier than what it actually is. Try and get your gradient as smoothly from dark to complete white and then practice the other way around. All um, right, that's it. That concludes our basic skills for this lesson. We'll be moving on to universal shapes and I'll show you how to train your eye to simplify any object into simple forms. This is Lillian Gray and stay tuned or subscribe for our drawing course.